Hello, my fellow Aldi addicts. It's Jackie, and it's grocery shopping day. I absolutely love meal planning and planning dinners that I know my family will like, trying new things, seeing what Aldi has. So I truly enjoy grocery shopping, and I like sharing with you guys the ingredients and the components of my meals, and then my meal plan at the end. So let's go into Aldi. Let's see what I find. Then I'll take you through my actual grocery haul and share my meal plan at the end. And if you like these types of videos or you like getting new ideas for meals or seeing what Aldi's carrying, I hope you consider subscribing. I would totally appreciate it. And without further ado, let's get into Aldi and see what goodies they have this week. A lot of people complain about the Aldi bacon, but I just found that if I look and I make sure it shows enough marbling that it isn't too fatty, you just have to pay attention to the package. So I like it. You just have to be a little discerning. So I definitely prefer fresh basil, but these are a pretty good option. And it will last me longer than fresh basil or I really, really was looking for these. I'm excited because it's Safety Raw 249. Yummy. So I love when this happens. Something I want is on sale. We're having walking tacos this week and I need another bag of corn chips. Yay! Price comparison, 69 cents versus 320. I'm super excited that my Aldi actually has all of these cabinet organizers. And I'm getting one for my coffee bar. They have corned beef for only $1.99 a pound. I'm not buying any today, but it's St. Patty's coming up, and I do have a special dinner planned for my family. This is also good. St. Patty's they for me. Sauerkraut, although I love their jarred sauerkraut. That looks pretty good, too. So these potatoes are only 48 cents, and they're super good to fry with butter as like a breakfast side. So we're having waffles, and I thought I'd make these with bacon. Easy. The lemons are an Aldi saver this week, and I need them for lemon bars, so that works well. So here is my Aldi haul for the week, and I do have produce over there, so I'll show you both of them. If you want to take a guess what I spent this week, I will share the grand total at the end. So I have a dozen eggs just to have on hand. We're running low. These were 66 cents for the dozen. 69 cents for cilantro. We're making walking tacos this week, and I use cilantro pretty much in any Mexican type of dish. My family likes to add it as a fresh topping. It was 69 cents for the corn chips. I thought it was interesting to share with you guys the price comparison for the Clancy's corn chips and then the Fritos. It's just mind-blowing to me, the, the price difference, and one of the many reasons I love Aldi. It was $1.15, I think. Yep, $1.15 for the large black olives. I'll just slice these and have them as a topping for our walking tacos. And then the cheese dip is just going to be something I warm up and you can put right into your walking taco. I feel like having a cheese or a queso is pretty important in a walking taco. Oh. And this was $1.79. And we definitely won't use it all for the, just this meal, so I'll have it for another meal in my fridge. I've shared before that I go on spurts of wanting bagels and cream cheese. These are both $1.49 a piece. I eat one single meal a day, which is my dinner, which is one of the reasons I love planning dinners. But then I usually open my eating window with like a snack, and a lot of times it's granola and almond milk or bagel and cream cheese are two things that I really just get a lot of satisfaction from and I crave, so... I got bagels, everything bagel, and chive and onion cream cheese. I'm very much a savory eater versus sweet, and that sounded delicious. So I was excited to add those to the shopping list. We are, I'm making homemade waffles. We have a waffle iron. I make the homemade batter, so pretty much everything I have on hand to make the waffles. And we already have syrup, but I'm going to make um, potatoes. So with these whole potatoes coming from a can, it's really easy to just fry them up in butter and kind of smash them and make like a really seasoned peppery salt, little seasoned salt, butter, and you get a really nice crisp with the soft potato on the inside, great with ketchup. And it's just an easy side, 49 cents a can. It's a super simple, super delicious side. I have six cans of the basil, garlic, and oregano diced tomatoes. I actually tested my Aldi, it says four is the limit. And I just put six on the belt. I didn't say anything. And I figured if they told me I was past the limit, I'd be fine. But they let me buy them. So I think their limit signs are pretty much not enforced. It's just more of a deterrent for people that are really stocking up. But I will use all six cans when I make this week's tomato soup. My nine-year-old requested 
a soup of some sort and pretty much everyone except for my husband loves tomato basil soup so I got the tomato cans those are 49 cents a piece and then I got this bacon $3.39 and then I got these Italian seasoned croutons the croutons are 89 cents but when we make tomato basil soup we love to put croutons on top and we'll pretty much eat an entire bag of croutons on our tomato soup dinner the bacon is for the breakfast dinner I'm making with the waffles. I will have that as a side. And then I'm also going to reserve um, probably four or five slices of bacon, make sure that we have them. I'm making chicken sandwiches later in the week, and then we can have bacon on top of the chicken sandwiches. My husband and I will be the only ones probably that put bacon on top. I got sliced cheese. These are not only for the chicken sandwiches, but also grilled cheese. The night that I make tomato basil soup, we will also have grilled cheese because my husband doesn't like tomato basil soup. I at least have to have something for him as an option and then he can make leftovers or request something else. So 79 cents for the bread and then the cheese. So the Swiss and the sharp cheddar were each $1.79 a piece. I bought three of these energy shots because my husband requested them. He doesn't necessarily like the taste. I didn't think he would like grape, but he said he really didn't care what flavor because he drinks it so fast and then he chases it with something else. Um, but he, every once in a while, if he doesn't sleep well or if he has a stressful day, he likes to have these. It's like a Aldi version of the five hour energy and he definitely feels like they work. So I always get extra strength and he doesn't, have them super frequently but they're important to him if he wants them so the basil for the tomato basil soup of course this is two dollars and 75 cents so it's a little expensive but i will definitely get way more use out of it than just tomato basil soup and it stays in your fridge i think for like four weeks after you open it yep so once open keep in the refrigerator and use for four weeks so i'll get use out of it i would prefer fresh basil but it's not carried at aldi and i don't want to go to another store for it and I can't grow it for the life of me. So when I take my Aldi surveys every week, I always request that they carry fresh basil. I doubt they ever will, but I'm gonna keep saying it. So please, Aldi, listen to me. So that was $2.75. My sparkling waters, you guys know, I am obsessed with these. I drink them all the time. When I fast, I drink black coffee or plain water or sparkling plain water, and I love these. We are big fans, actually, of all the flavored sparkling waters, too, but I just... Um, I don't always have one of these in my eating or I don't always have one of these daily, but I get about three or four a week. So those are 55 cents plus 10 cent deposit for each one of them. The milk, it's $1.67 for the gallon. So we have that for cereal, drinking, recipes, pretty basic needs. I buy one a week. So this almond milk is my absolute favorite. It's $1.79. I drink about one of these every week. I've pretty much gotten used to that. So it's $1.79 for this. I love to have it with cereal if I have a bowl of cereal as a snack or just to drink it. I think it's so delicious to drink on its own. And then I will use it pretty much as a milk substitute for drinking or in a recipe. Orange juice is $2.09. I use either a frozen orange juice concentrate that I water down for smoothies or I buy orange juice. And then last week I tried the one with mango and everyone in my family really loved it. But then my husband wouldn't drink it because he didn't like mango. So I thought this week I would be nice and get one that he would enjoy as well. And I always like to get the calcium and vitamin D added. So my family loves orange juice. It won't last long unless it's mango. The Parmesan cheese is $2.25. We just keep this on hand and we ran out this week. So I had to get more. I don't necessarily have a plan for that that I can think of. Speaking of not having a plan for these ribbon noodles, they were $2.49. Um, and I love buying these when Aldi has them. They were supposed to have them last week and they didn't. So they came in this week and I don't have a plan, but I'll probably have Alfredo on my meal plan next week since I found these. So my husband loves Alfredo. He could eat it probably every week. I just don't like it that much. Um, but we do really like this pasta. So I got it while I could because I wasn't sure if it would be available next week. Also those noodles are really good in beef and noodles. Just throwing that out there. This hummus was $1.95. I wanted to get the spicy hummus because my 11 year old likes that the best. However, they didn't have it. It's still really yummy. And she will pack this in her lunch. I will have the, I'll have cucumbers chopped. I'll have carrots and celery prepped. And then I also have the carrots and the celery for chicken a la king. So both of these were $1.29 each. And again, we'll use them for snacking with the hummus or for my kids' lunches. And then also I dice both of them for chicken a la king, $1.29, $1.29. 
a dollar for the sweet peas. I will have this in my chicken a la king. The same with chicken stock, butter, heavy whipping cream. It's like a slightly thinner gravy, chicken gravy, like a chicken pot pie filling. And then I'm making mashed potatoes to ladle it over. I have so much frozen chicken. It's been almost a year, maybe a little over a year that I bought over 50 pounds of red sticker chicken. And they told me like, you can buy as much as you want because we have more of it. They accidentally got like this giant shipment. I'm dreaming of finding it again because I'm so close to running out of chicken, you guys. Um, I will probably share a video on what I do when I find a giant amount of red sticker meats. That's how I stock up on my meat. If I can, it's not always an option, obviously, but I'll share that with you guys. I'm using Aldi chicken. It's just frozen and then I'll make a base. So my heavy whipping cream is $1.55 each. I won't use all of this for the, but I don't want to be out of whipping cream. The chicken stock is $1.69 and I will use all of that for the chicken a la king. It was $2.89 for the butter. We are running low and I need more for especially this dinner. And I also use butter when I make pizza balls. So the jumbo biscuits were 95 cents a can and it was $1.69 for mozzarella. What I do is I take each biscuit, you flatten it, and then you add mozzarella, pepperoni, and then you form a ball out of that dough. Then you melt butter, put it on top with Italian seasoning, garlic, Parmesan. Ooh, I will use the grated Parmesan for that. And then you bake them and then you dip them in pizza sauce. This is 85 cents and I just kind of zhuzh it up a little bit with some extra seasoning, some more garlic, some Italian seasoning, probably oregano, maybe the basil paste, or basil paste. And then we dip the pizza balls in there. It's a really simple dinner. My kids love it. I really like it until you realize if you eat four pizza balls, you also, that means you ate four biscuits, but you try not to think of that kind of stuff. <laughs> not the healthiest dinner, but it is a big win in our family. The yogurts, my nine-year-old wanted yogurt for her school lunch, so these were 32 cents a piece. She loves the cherry. The whipped cream, I think it was 2.89, and we just keep that on hand lately for ice cream snacks or hot chocolates. It's a big, it's a big win when we, we make hot chocolate around here, so 2.89 for that, and it's delicious. Veggie chips were $1.79. My kids liked these and wanted the chips instead of the straws. I actually didn't think they carried chips. I thought it was just a different flavor. And then when I was reviewing one of my videos as I was editing, I thought, oh my gosh, they do have chips. So I got them chips for their lunches. Um, definitely will be enough that we can snack on them too because we are only packing four lunches this week between my two girls because virtual school. <laughs> $2.79 for instant coffee. I am going to be using this as I make a homemade Kahlua. If you're interested in seeing how I make homemade Kahlua because Aldi doesn't sell it, you do need vodka, which also Aldi doesn't sell. I will link that at the end of this video. I've made a video on that in the past on my other channel where I share recipes and different foods that I make. I will be making Kahlua. That is something that goes really good with the Friendly Farms whipping cream, FYI but that was $2.79 and I need instant coffee for it. These brioche buns, not only do they absolutely look amazing, but I know my whole family will like them. We're gonna make chicken sandwiches and then my vegetarian, she loves to make sandwiches just without meat. So she will be happy too. And these were $3.65, a little expensive, but they're worth it for the sandwiches. Plus you think about it, we're making six sandwiches. That is not too bad. These were $1.65 and will be an accompaniment to our chicken sandwiches. So yeah, I was so hoping that my Aldi would get these when they were supposed to and they did, woohoo. $2.49 for this and it's safe to eat raw. You can eat it or bake it. My nine year old was very excited when I told her that. So I will be baking some of these and making some of them. If my kids were home right this second, they're at my in-laws. Um, I would be letting her try it to let you guys know how it is, but I love marshmallows, I love raw cookie dough, and I really am not a chocolate person, so a lot of times pre-made cookie dough, or even if you get it at a restaurant, like cookie dough ice cream has chocolate in it, and I just don't like it. But this doesn't, so this is something that looked really exciting to me, and I was very pleased to try, and excited that my Aldi had it. So I'll let you guys know once we finally try it in the comments what we thought of it, but that was $2.49. I almost forgot this guy. So this is $4.99, it's an, a shelf organizer. I have a couple spots. I wanted to put it on my coffee bar, but when I got home, I don't know if it'll fit there, but I think it would also be really helpful to organize some cake pans that I have in a different cupboard. So 
I have a couple different ideas of where I could keep this, but it was only $4.99 and I feel like a lot of my cupboards could actually benefit from organization like this. My Aldi was chock full of options of wire baskets, so I might be going back. I definitely have some organizing to do, but that shelf actually fits really nicely underneath my it was $3.19 for 10 pounds of potatoes. I'll be making mashed potatoes with these this week. $2.29 for lemons. I am making lemon bars and I need lemon juice and lemon zest for that. Or uh, all these savor this week were lemons, so that was nice. The navel oranges were $2.39. My husband just asked me to put oranges on the list. My entire family loves to eat oranges as kind of a snack, so they're just there as an easy snack or a side to a meal. The, gra the grapes were $1.29 a pound, and altogether I paid $2.09 for those. Those will be really easy for my girls' lunches, or we have mandarin oranges in the fridge. Easy, I'll have them washed and ready for them to just throw into their lunchbox. Cucumbers, $0.49 cents a piece. These are really easy, again, cut them up, have them washed and ready, easy to add into lunches. My kids are finally going to school only two days a week now, but we have to get back into the lunch packing game. I am making chicken a la king and then also making crispy onion toppers for chicken sandwiches. So I need onions for both of those and I keep potatoes and onions on hand pretty much at all time. I was just low on both of them. These onions were $1.69. And then I paid 49 cents for all of these bananas. They're 25 cents a pound and it was just under two pounds. So we use these to snack on, make smoothies. And if they get dark before we eat them, I just stick them into a freezer gallon bag. And then I use the frozen ones for smoothies. So we never waste bananas, but we go through them a bunch a week pretty much. So my grand total for everything, including that stuff was $90 and 48 cents. And now we'll go to the Aldi preview for next week and we can see what is coming in the sneak peek and what my meal plan is for the week. So Aldi finds sneak peek for next week. Lots of Easter candy. I have a feeling my Easter bunny will be dropping off some of these and probably the Cadbury mini eggs. And the Easter bunny might find these to be very enticing. A chocolate surprise egg. How cute is that? I have always enjoyed these. I love Aldi solid milk chocolate I'm not the biggest chocolate person, but when I can find stuff like this or this, that's the perfect milk chocolate to me. Milk chocolate is the way to go in my opinion, but looks like they have lots of fun egg fillers. And this is my absolute favorite Easter candy, Cadbury, Cadbury cream eggs. And it's funny because I'm the only one in my house that likes them, so if the Easter bunny brings them, I'm the one that gets them all. I feel like there's lots of cool finds in here. Very spring-like, which makes me excited because I'm so over winter. I love these gnomes. I don't know if I'd purchase gnomes for Easter spring decor because I do kind of think of them as Christmas, but it would be really cute to have three of these like representing my three kids and my mantle, so I'll consider it. We'll see. I have to find them first, don't I? I always think these pancake pans are really cute. I just don't need another thing in my uh, home. <laughs> another gadget of sorts, so I will pass, but I do think they're really cute. I might be looking for these, $2.99 for two delicate bags. Mine, the zippers are kind of wonky on them and I've had them forever, so I think that's worth looking at. I have a spin mop, it's not the Aldi one, unfortunately. I would have definitely bought this from Aldi. Mine was not $20 and I feel like $19.99 is a really good value, but I love having a spinning mop bucket. It works really well, my floors are dirty all the time and it helps clean them easily. So if you're in the need of a mop, I highly recommend this. I think this is super cute. These lounger rompers, I might consider buying one. I'm just afraid that if I buy one, I will never wear anything else because it looks way too cozy. It probably also depends for me if there's pockets because I like to wear pants that have pockets. More to come on that, I guess. There's lots of yummy snacks. Um, we love these Clancy chili cheese Corn chips. It's funny they're in the ad because I just bought corn chips this week. So I'll be looking for those. These loaded tots look really interesting. So I'll be looking for those, but lots of yummy snacks. I know my four-year-old would go nuts if I bought those. So we'll see what kind of mood I'm in next week, but lots of good things on the docket for next week and my menu for next week, pizza balls, tomato soup and grilled cheese, chicken a la king with mashed potatoes, I'm going to make waffles, those potatoes, and bacon. That's like a brinner, breakfast dinner. 
walking tacos. Um, I get this question sometimes. We don't actually put them in little bags of Fritos. I just buy them, but we make them in bowls. I still call them walking tacos because that's what they remind me of. I have frozen taco meat on hand pretty much at all times. I make it in bulk. Chicken sandwiches and french fries. That's one of the reasons I wanted to have bacon is I will use some of the bacon that I make for the breakfast dinner and save it to put on chicken sandwiches. And then we might be going to my in-laws for a family dinner. If not, I'll just pull something for the pantry. And if we do go to the family dinner, I'm making lemon bars for that. And if we don't go, I'll just make them for my house. And also I wanted to share, if you guys have any items you think I should try, I might try once a week to try something that you guys suggest in the video comments. I will have it in the following grocery haul. And then I'll also be sharing my thoughts on the previous suggestion. We don't eat mushrooms and we don't eat seafood or fish. Thank you so much for watching. Ciao down and ciao.